Hey guys and welcome back to another motivational video. This week and this past week has brought on us challenges and it's resulted in us being scattered so some disasters around our apartment are visible to the eye and some just aren't. We've had Christmas and it's been a lot of traffic so today we're tackling areas like our living room and our pantry to speed clean before we restock. We also have things out of place or thrown in here along with our kitchen which is a complete disaster. Our water was off due to a leak and fix so we couldn't wash dishes or run the dishwasher. On the bright side though, we did receive our dining room table so we can officially share setting that up just to put a space together even more than we already have in the past few weeks. We also received a rug that we honestly were scared about at first because of the size. It seemed too big for the living room and the dining room, but we did figure out a solution that works out in the end. So I'll be taking you guys along with us because we have so much that has to get completed to fully attack our messy apartment. I didn't take two days. We got this done in one night because we have a lot to catch up on behind the scenes and this couldn't wait. I not only want to share today's clean and decorate with you, but I also want to share this clip to take you guys down memory lane because the past week we have shared a lot that has to do with cleaning, organizing, decorating, and redecorating our apartment. And to all of you that are here and showing support, it really does go a long way with me and I really hope you guys are enjoying the motivation. If you haven't seen my recent videos, make sure you check out my description box so you can get updated on all that we've done to attack our messy apartment. We've had some pretty long nights and pretty long days, but I feel like it makes it all worth it if our babies are happy, if we're happy, and if I can just share an ounce of motivation with you guys. First starting with unboxing our dining room table. It arrived in two boxes and they were kind of heavy so Jacqueline brought them in. We unboxed the table and y'all I was super excited before we even started because I saw this table a while ago on Pinterest and I fell in love with it. I never imagined in a million years one of my pan items on Pinterest would be here in our home but I want to give a huge shout out to Home Airy for sponsoring today's clean and decorate with me. My husband and I, we have been working on turning our apartment into our home for the time being. We moved in and really had to downsize quite a bit, which means that we're going to be switching a lot of different things out and just receiving new things. We waited a long time and had many ideas for our dining room and our living room. So when Home Mary reached out to me and introduced their website, I was honestly in complete shock because they have so many beautiful and very high end home decor products. It'll send you into a whole home redecorating frenzy. I only picked out two items and one of them being our dining room table and the other I'll share later on in the video. But with our dining room table, we couldn't be any more excited than we already are. Overall, we are 100% satisfied, honestly blown away after filling the table and the other product that we had. The dining room table came with everything you need to add your screws and bolts. It was fairly easy if you're used to putting things together. I'm not, so I had a hard time. It was a breeze for Jake one, but like I said, not for me. But I did add the foot protectors to the table just to do my part and I was excited about that. So 
So this table came in three separate pieces and it is all solid wood and I absolutely fell in love with this table as soon as I just ran my hand across it you guys it felt so good. I was a tad bit concerned whenever we were putting it together that we all wouldn't be able to fit at the table let alone keep five chairs at the table. However once we got it set up and Jacqueline flipped it over y'all I just got so excited I just feel the rush in my chest right now. This table is super nice, sturdy, and super smooth, you guys, and it fits us as a family, so we're very thankful and just in all of our new dining room table. I do have a 7% off discount code in my description box for you, so if you see something you like, you can grab it and save a couple dollars while you're at it. Home Mary has very beautiful decor pieces for your home, not only decor, but so much more. They even have an option for you to shop in their 48-hour dispatch section, which is what I did, and I received our dining room table in just a few days. It came right before Christmas, which was was shocking because how busy they've been with mail during the holiday season I was just really shocked and I'm not going to hold back either you guys this is most definitely where I want to get more future home decor items so I just want to say thank you to home Mary once again for sponsoring today's video and just sharing your amazing products with us So as I said earlier, our kitchen was a disaster, but I couldn't clean there due to the water being off. So for now, we moved on to the living room. We had a package. It's our living room rug. It arrived from Home Airy, and I was just so excited to be putting it down. I waited to show Jake when the rug as a surprise. He was shocked when he saw Home Airy sent me not only down the room table, but also a rug. Here in our living room, I'm just continuing to do what I said earlier. We had a lot of heavy traffic with Christmas, maintenance, and so many other things. I wanted to get our floors cleaned and make sure I wiped everything down. On this evening, I didn't think I would have to rearrange. I thought it was going to be an easy clean and mop and then add our new items, but it didn't go that way at all. So of course that meant I had to fathom putting it in the dining room or the living room. I will say on this evening, I found myself running into a lot of areas that just needed a little bit more attention. So I went ahead and attacked those messes as well.
To express yourself in your own way, and we could have some fun. No problems coming in our way. I would like you just the way you are, and you would like me just the way I am. And I would like you just the way you are, the way you are. Oh. Keep on doing what you do, doing what you do. Just keep on doing what you do. Keep on doing what you do. Doing what you do. Doing what you do. Doing what you do. Do what you like to. What you like to do. Do what you like to. What you like to. What you like to do. Just keep on doing what you do. So once I cleaned our living room, I moved on to our dining room. We did share a Christmas themed vlog where we ended up making crafts and doing other Christmas activities like decorating. And we had actually received our dining room table before our other items, so we had a lot of fun that night. We had chicken and dumplings and we did a lot of Christmas activities. So it was just really nice to just receive this gift right before Christmas and also spend time as a family at the table. We did have to add some chairs that didn't go with the table, but we got it done and it just made everything so special and lovely. If you haven't checked out that video, I will make sure to have it linked down in my description box so you can see it after you're done watching this video. It is by far one of my favorite videos that I have here on my channel. It meant so much to me to be able to do a little something extra for the babies and just to have this opportunity to edit, film, and just share it with you guys to give you guys some motivation. So I'll be sure to have it linked in my description box for you guys to check it out.
I needed to get things clean from today and also organize our pantry. We recently shared stock enough and it's almost that time to organize and clean it all. We have some ongoing transformations in this area, we just haven't gotten to it yet. We're taking our time because with all that has gone on, that's what's best for right now. But I will tell you guys that we plan on adding shelves and so much more to bring this space to not only be modern, but also family friendly. What I have planned is honestly very unique and I just have to take my time and do it how I envision it. It's not something that I can just go out and buy and place in here because some of the things will be custom made for this space, but practical for other areas, just in case we need to use it for that too. But that's a bonus to having a pantry in the closet because now I know I can also add whatever we get for this area to other closets for different organizational ideas. Today I just used our Ocedra mop to mop our floors paired with Pond Saw. If you're wondering how I got the water, our neighbors and us, like we're all pretty cool. So they got us hooked up and I just kept on cleaning. We had maintenance in the bathroom and we had already lost so much time being in disarray that I just had to keep going. And I'm just going to be honest, we try to keep up with our home as much as we can. I am not a housekeeper, but I am a great wife and mom who knows how to delegate and get things done accordingly. I know it may come off to you guys as me sharing motivation like this all the time and that all I do is clean like a cleaning machine however nope I mom it out over here and delegate between tasks to get things done in an orderly fashion we have 30 to 31 days in a month and cleaning four days out of the 31 doesn't do it for me we have so much that goes on and our home is a complete disaster just from daily activities like cooking baking crafting and also doing hair and working in between so we try to stay on top of it the best way that we can while also sharing motivation with you guys of daily routines and getting things done the best way we know how and also delegating in between tasks like cleaning and decorating to get things done as parents Once I was done with our floors, I had to pull our dining room rug. We had to match a rug to the dining room in our living room, but we recently removed it because we're going for like a more modern and traditional look. Some of our things we're going to be painting to give it like a more traditional look, but some things, you know, it's going to be okay. We received this rug from Home Mary, and the size of the rug is a 6x9, which is too big for this space. But I just wanted to get an idea just to see this rug with this space for our future plans.
unpacked the rug and felt it for the first time i was in literal shock it is the softest rug i have ever felt everything about it even down to detail was very very good quality just like the table the bottom of the rug had beautiful flower detailing and it also has another bonus because it grips the floor causing it not to move or slide So the rug was too big for the dining room and because of how we laid our living room out it was honestly it just didn't look right whenever we set it up in there too so we literally had to rearrange again just to make sure everything flowed together. So here's how the rug look up close even though it did not look right with this layout we still loved how beautiful the rug looked i just feel like it tied into the curtains so well i am someone who loves to play with them patterns and the textures so i really just wanted all of that to flow together and i felt like this rug in person did just that i loved how it looked with the curtains it didn't flow too smoothly with our living room layout like this so as i said earlier we did not plan to rearrange the living room but we had to rearrange the living room because we wanted everything to flow together and we wanted the space to feel more of like a home and not just kind of thrown together and i'm really excited that this rug could bring that space together So since we've added the rug and everything is on the wall is how it's going to be until further notice. We didn't have to move much besides the couch and the tree and also the entry table. I didn't want to take the tree down just yet because our kids were still very happy about the Christmas decor and the tree being up. And as I told you guys in previous videos, Jonah's birthday is coming up right here in January. So we want to keep this up until we change things out for Jonah's birthday.
So later on this night, our water had been turned back on, so we went ahead and got the kids fed, and then we wanted to go ahead and clean the kitchen and the bathroom. I'm organizing, wiping things down, and sanitizing. We had maintenance over, and they were in and out on this day, so I didn't want to go to sleep before cleaning, disinfecting, and cleaning up after our own daily messes.
Everything that you guys see pulled out on the floor over here in the corner was actually underneath our kitchen sink. We have a hole that's underneath our kitchen sink and it goes to the bathroom. So they had to pull everything out from underneath the sink just to continue working. So right now I'm just sorting through all of this. I use this as an opportunity to get rid of some things and also reorganize. So I didn't see it as like a huge loss or a huge fail today because I was excited that I got to reorganize underneath our kitchen sink and I didn't have to take everything out. Like it got done for me. So huge plus mom win. So underneath our cabinet, it was a lot of damage, but in today's time, you know, like today it is dried up. 
but during this video i just wanted to put everything back for the sake of not having space to store these things and then maintenance did add a humidifier to try to help dry things up and that really did help a lot we still have it so i did just want to stay on the bright side of things and just try to clean and organize underneath our cabinet but that did kind of stress me out a little bit but i knew that there was nothing i could do about it other than wait it out so i organized the best way that i could and then we moved on to the bathroom but don't forget that we did get a dehumidifier added so things are going okay now
so now finally we have moved on to the bathroom it is the end of the night and time to clean disinfect and mop the floor I also haven't had the chance to wipe things down accordingly with the pipe and the huge hole that we had made in here by maintenance today but all of that was about to change right now Today I'm just using bleach to surface clean and disinfect and then for our glass mirrors we just went ahead and used some Windex. We picked this up from the Dollar Tree. I still haven't used all of it yet so I have been using this like here and there trying to get rid of it but I also still use our thieves for our glass as well. here in our bathroom we have this chest of drawers this is where we keep all of our hair products and all of the things that have to do with hair I want to go ahead and put it downstairs because it was tiring me you guys walking up and down the stairs getting hair products and doing things so I went ahead and put that in here I'll have the video linked in my description box if you guys want to check it out to see everything that we have in the drawers but aside from that I have this in here because we have some very major plans that we're going to be doing in the bathroom and I'm excited about those changes I've kind of come up with a definite plan that I'm going to incorporate in our bathroom for both London and myself so I'm excited to be sharing that experience with you guys as well in the empty body lines of the answers Write down all your memories Feel the things you wanna feel, yeah In the empty body lines of the answers Oh, watch me Dancing in the colors, lightning Blowing up a thunder, wash it over me We got everything we need, right? Watch me Dancing in the colors, lightning
Alrighty, you guys, that is the end of today's Clean and Decorate with me. I just want to thank Home Mary for sponsoring today's video and help me make this video possible for you guys because it felt so good to clean our home, organize, disinfect, and also add a little home decor in the mix. I hope this video motivates you to stay encouraged and to keep going despite life curveballs. If this video gave you the motivation you need to tackle even one thing, like this video and comment down below so I know to make more videos like this one. And once again, a huge thank you to Home Mary for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget, I do have a coupon code linked for you guys down in my description box. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And without further ado, I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!